Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. I'm going to be talking about this uh, Twitch female streamer who's very basically generalizing all men that they, apparently that they ruined gaming. They ruined the gaming community and stuff, which I'm very confused because not all men are like that. And she brings up like how past Call of Duty or past like uh, online games, whether it be like Halo, Battlefield, whatever, uh, more like my childhood gaming. How, it w how at the time that it wasn't very toxic, um, that people would treat another with respect, but. If I were to call, like it was actually, it was actually worse. And I grew the sense of society in this video. People would literally make threats. They would be racist and go in on you and basically try to get your reaction. Trolling has been a thing ever since the internet um, became popular. This isn't anything. This is nothing new to be be surprised about. But whether to say men have ruined the game community, I highly disagree. She could, she honestly, all she, honestly, she could have made it simple and said that there, there are a lot of guys that are like basically horny uh, when it comes to gaming, especially when they hear females and just the way they talk or how they try to throw them off by saying like um, how attractive they are if they want to hook up on the video game. Kind of like four casinos that the game that Mr. Opinions plays, but my opinions do too. But at the same time, she she also failed to realize it's the it's the men that actually start that actually started the gaming community, and they're the one that they're the ones that us I wouldn't say the every guy out there, but the majority are the ones that are handling it uh, better, and the ones like. Have more knowledge and how the game community should be utilized and how it should be handled but but and this is not, and i trust me i talked about twitch i talked about twitch streamers before and from, from what i from what i gather a lot of these females aren't even gamers and and it's not to sound sexist and i'm not saying all women I'm guarantee you there's a lot of uh, f gaming, fem like uh, Twitch, uh, like female streamers that are good at gaming, that have experience. But a lot of it is, ra is rather for show than for go, if you know, if you guys catch what I mean. So, imagine, like, things, she doesn't even realize, like, the whole, like, hypocrisy behind it. But she needs to think of, like, she doesn't look at the double standard. Like, imagine if she was... If she, if guys, if somebody made a video talking about how women have no, they're like women who have no skills in video games, which is 100% not true, and said that all women on Twitch or whatever, or on like uh, video games, all they do is show off their body on webcam, whatever, and they just, they basically just want attention by guys. And they have no knowledge of uh, gaming. And again, like, she, I wouldn't. Not only is she not, not only is she missing the point. Like, it just seems like it's a, a desperate, a desperate attempt to get clout. 
on the internet. Because I don't want to read, I don't want to have to read what she has to say. You guys can watch the video. Because she definitely is trash for it. But like, how is she going to explain someone, if someone saw that video and if someone confronted her person, how is she going to explain herself? What would be her reason as to what she said in that video? Because you can't have it both ways, like, especially when you decide to be, uh, when you start to generalize and be sexist. You can't expect people to just forget about it and then think that you're right. If you say something negative, expect uh, negative feedback. But I wouldn't personally, again, I'm not the type to go on Twitch, Twitter, whatever, I don't want to look at the comments. But from what I heard, like, it's not, it's not going well for her. Let me just see if there's anything important because I'm, I'm not trying to waste too much of your time on this. It's literally just the same just conversation. Same discussion that she's making, same argument. I'm not, I don't want to hear for myself. Like, if anything, it's like, I wouldn't say it's men that's destroying the gaming community. I'd say it's both genders. Because I actually, I actually do want to be 100% be honest. It's, both genders because one women that claim their gamers are a lot most of the time fake while there are guys who ruin the game community community which is which is kind of true but it's not all guys but they make it to the point where it's like creates it where it creates stereotypes of men as if all the men on the gaming platform are somehow predators because whether they might be good at gaming or not but when they hear a girl talk they want to be able to flirt and be able to make these cringe, disturbing comments and try to interact with the person and then try to bring it to real life and be inappropriate. Because personally, me, you get, personally, if it was me, you guys, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even go to that extent. Why would I even bother meeting someone online when you can meet them in person? Because I, I, I can assure you it's not it's not a hundred percent confirmed it's not a guarantee you're gonna meet somebody on the internet unless you know they're willing to go through with it and even if I did if I wanted to what's to say that there aren't gonna be any consequences you got to you got to think of the risks that you're taking so whether this video was to empower women like it says like it says on her uh, Twitter page, or Twitch, whatever. I don't care too much. Again, it just seems like a pointless ban banter that I'm uh, reading as well as hearing. But this, going back to what I said though, if I'm really planning to meet up someone, it wouldn't be through uh, uh, the internet or a gaming console. I, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't take. I wouldn't take those drastic measures. Because why? Because that person can just lie to you. They can ghost you, and you're gonna be and you're gonna be but and you're gonna be wondering yourself where is she? And then you realize she left you by yourself, out in public, and you just wasted several minutes or possibly hours just to go and meet this person, only to find out they they never had any intentions to come and meet you. So, and I'm not trying to be random though, like. She's she's only right about one thing that there are there are weirdos and creeps on the gaming uh, platform, but they are not the only people that are ruining the gaming community. Let's be real. And just like that picture you just saw right now is a prime example I was talking about. They're not just guys; they're women too. Women are just, there are women out there just to show off their body, just to get donations. And I've, 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 I brought it up. I've addressed some uh, videos relating to Twitter. So, she's very hypocritical to not even bring up. Uh, if you're going to bring up guys to you, why don't you call out the flaws of your own gender too? Of women that are actually on that on Twitter. And I'm talking. Sorry, I mean Twitch. They're they're going out there showing their goodies. You know, to get uh, not only to get compliments, but they because they're fully aware that it's going to make them money. 
only to on, or only to ghost men so because the first thing they're waiting for is the donations and after donations they're gonna ghost them and just pretend like as if they just forgot like who they're supposed to be because they have apparently they have a busy life if anything that's just the easy way to get compensated so whether she is going through that I I, I, I I would I, I would definitely I wouldn't justify it even if she is going through that doesn't mean you take it on every guy out there but just to let just to let her know is that there are also uh, women that are showing off you know lying about lying claiming that they're gay when actuality they're not only to be comp compensated free only because of their body and looks so never never the less Nobody should be threatened because of it. But at the same time, if you gotta decide you wanna scam somebody because of it, because you're taking advantage of somebody, then expect don't ex don't expect people to shy away from you and to give you a pass and let you go on about your day because that person is gonna take what you did seriously. Because not only um, are you affecting them financially. But, but, but since you refuse to not keep with their promise, then they they, they feel they're going to have to take action on it. And that's true. Some, you're, again, playing, you're playing a dangerous game by doing that. By, say, by, when, by expecting donations, but then you refuse to go out and like keep your promise just to ghost that person. It's... I would say I would, I would blame both parties either way you guys because you know not only should you stoop that low but guys shouldn't be as stupid as to trust someone on the internet especially a stranger no someone that you haven't met in person only to find out that th that they uh, ghosted you and made you look like a fool and humiliated you on social media and that's what these guys are going through and what I'm not saying whether they deserve to suffer or not they have to learn the actual like they have to gain actual experience for them to realize in order to make better decisions so that they can avoid getting uh, in a situation like that but either way it's bound to happen so. not that I, not, not, not that I have much to say here but it's because there are people who just refuse to learn or just have to learn the hard way but again you guys i feel like i said enough hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to check for more upcoming content later in the future be sure to check your notifications comment like subscribe thank you